Hello, people of the internet. My name is Clicked Combat Wombat Wing Ding. Throw a carrot at a tree, Taser, and I'm here to talk about another GTA YouTuber. I know. I've done that like twice now. Well, you're wrong. I've actually made three videos on GTA YouTubers. It was kind of a series going over the issues in the GTA YouTuber community, but my video on Mr. Boss was taken down because it was bullying. Hmm. I wonder if it was mass flagged falsely. And YouTube didn't appeal it because the word idiot was in the thumbnail. Well then, that's been fixed. No mean words in the thumbnail. Now I'm going to give fair criticism to Mr. Boss's videos. This video is intended as fair criticism and is not made to bully or harass Mr. Boss for the win. The footage used in this video falls under fair use, so don't mass vlog my video. Thank you. Mr. Boss is another GTA YouTuber who makes the videos you would expect to see from someone who runs a GTA 5 channel. It's Clickbait City! GTA Online mansions, business headquarters, 20 vehicle garages, new properties, car slots, and more. Ooh, sounds neat, Mr. Boss. Tell me about this new DLC coming to GTA Online. Oh, you just talk about how it would be cool if Rockstar added mansions, and why you think they're going to. Nice. And you've made about 50 other videos on this exact same thing. Nice. Yeah, I think you can see the problem with Mr. Boss's videos. He clickbaits pretty much every time, but more than that, he clickbaits the same topic over and over again. He has to clickbait about mansions, the Mount Chiliad mystery, and DLC that isn't coming to the game over and over and over. Also, you'll notice that Mr. Boss uploads several videos a day, like four a day, sometimes more, especially if there is a new DLC coming up. <laughs> Doomsday Heist DLC, holy shit! Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at all 13 vehicles. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be doing a breakdown. Hey, how's it going guys? We're going to be talking about how much money you're going to need. This is because his videos take very little effort to make, and I make videos, I, I know what goes into it. They're just one gameplay clip, or a trailer, and some uncut commentary thrown together. The longest time he spends on his videos is probably recording them. The biggest issue with Mr. Ross for the win is his repeat videos, and his insane upload frequency. I have a theory for why he does this. You see, Mr. Boss has 2 million subscribers, but you'll notice that he only pulls in less than 100,000 views a video. This means he probably makes less than $100 a video, with advertisement revenue and all that. So to compensate, he just uploads 15 videos a day. I mean, I, I can't blame him. You have to pay for that McLaren somehow. Don't get it twisted. I'm not Rihanna, but boy, you a gunner. You right on my hit list. Keeping my distance. Just checking the list. Cringe. Like I've mentioned, Mr. Boss seems to like to make videos on the same topic repeatedly. For example, most recently, he's made videos about a nightclub DLC. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, all within the span of a few weeks. Seven videos, mind you, for a DLC that doesn't exist, and probably won't exist. Let's take a look at... GTA Online, Nightclub Garages, DLC information coming soon, new update delayed, and more. Oh, sorry, I got an unskippable one and a half minute long ad. Smart move, Mr. Boss. Those make more money. They also make people want to click off. Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about a bunch of cool topics, including the future of Grand Theft Auto Online updates. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Oh, snippety snap, I got another ad, but this time it's in the video. Mr. Boss needs to maximize his income, so a sponsored video isn't a bad idea. Good idea, Ross. I like your thinking. Well, I bet you don't know that Dollar Shave Club has all your grooming products that you probably use and need on a daily basis. Yeah, you're an amazing advertisement spokesperson, Ross, but I'm going to skip ahead. So this $5 offer is only available using my special link. Oh, a minute and 25 seconds in and you're still going. Ross, th this isn't how you start a video. If you're going to do a sponsored video, save it until the end, or at least be quick about it. Just a recommendation. Video and being an awesome sponsor, but- All right, skimming until something interesting pops up. Oof, I gotta make your own website advertisement. Just what I've always wanted. 
says, if available for purchase, do you think Bahama Mamas will be the most expensive club given its location and hype? Oh, absolutely. Uh, number one, not only is it the most obvious nightclub we have in the game, uh, but number two, it, it, it has the location, it has the hype from previous GTA games, from the Ballad of Gay Tony. Okay, okay. I know you sneaked GTA 5 Q&A at the end of the title, but you intentionally set the title of this video to get STUPID BITCHES like me to click on it. The rest of the title misleads viewers into thinking that this is confirmed news. Young children are going to think, based on the title that you have, that you have some actual information. But it's just a Q&A of your thoughts about a DLC that hasn't been confirmed. Who knows, this may be an actual DLC coming to the game. But it hasn't been confirmed. The title was intentional and meant to lure people in. Not cool, bro. Let's take a look at another one of your seven videos on this fabled DLC. GTA Online Nightlife Summer 2018 Update. How expensive all new nightclubs, vehicles, and more will be. Okay, Ross. Tell me how much these virtual cars in this non-existent DLC are going to cost. Aw, oh, shit, I got another ad. Screw a donkey backwards while listening to ACDC. Thank God for this plugin. So pretty much every single day on Twitter and in the YouTube comments, a lot of you guys ask me how much money you're going to need for the next upcoming DLC. And that's kind of difficult because obviously Rockstar haven't announced any of the new content, and we don't really know what's going to be arriving. We can take some guesses, but we don't know for sure. Well, then why are you doing this video? However, I think I can tell you just about how expensive each item is going to be. No, you can't. Rockstar always changes the prices of their vehicles, usually to ridiculous amounts to trick people into buying shark cards. Based off of what Rockstar has done in their past, and based off of shark cards, believe it or not. Oh, I can believe it. So I'm going to be reading off the amounts of shark cards. Sure, why not? Uh, it might be different where you are. Uh, but you can really do a conversion if you if it's that important. So you have the red shark card, which is a hundred thousand dollars in game, and it costs two ninety nine U.S. dollars. You have the tiger shark, which is two hundred thousand dollars, and that costs four ninety nine U.S. dollars. You have the bull shark card, which is five hundred thousand dollars in game cash and costs nine thousand nine hundred nine cents U.S. dollars. The white shark card, which is one million two hundred fifty thousand dollars in game cash and costs nineteen dollars nine hundred nine cents for U.S. You have the whale shark card, which is three point five million dollars and costs four nine dollars nine hundred nine cents for U.S. And you have the big one, the megalodon shark card, which is eight million dollars in game and costs ninety nine point nine nine U.S. dollars in order to buy this. Now before we get into the prices, some fun facts you might not know. Nope, I'm skipping ahead. Now, moving on to some of the other shark cards, you've got the Great White Shark card, which is $1,250,000, and the Whale Shark card, $3,500,000. Well, that right there is basically how much money the vehicles are going to be costing. No, you don't know that. We're four minutes into a nine minute long video, and all he's done is list off the prices of shark cards, and guessing that that's what the in-game purchases will be priced at. His reasoning for this is because that's how Rockstar gets you to buy shark cards. As likely as that is, you're still just taking shots in the dark and making an extremely pointless video guessing what things in an unannounced DLC are going to cost. He does this for the rest of the video, so I'm going to move on. Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at some more details regarding the nightclubs. Oh shit! Looks like my boy Ross has some really dank information about the DLC for once. Something actually concrete and tangible. Lay it on me, you hunk. How they're going to work, some of the features they are going to have, and a whole lot more. Yeah, Mr. Boss. Lay it on me! Lay it on me like you would lay a basket of carrots across your front lawn! What the fuck am I talking about? Now, to do this, we're going to be looking back at nightclubs in the GTA universe. What the fuck? No, fuck it, I'm done. See ya! Details. He uses the word details as if it's some kind of official news about the DLC straight from Rockstar. He gets my nipples extremely moist. Then he turns around and says, Now, to do this, we're going to be looking back at nightclubs in the GTA universe. No, Ross, you GTA god. No. You are basically going to speculate and ramble for 11 minutes about shit you know nothing about. You click baited. Plain and simple. Buy again making your title out to be like it's some official news. Mr. Ass Cheeks Fuck the Watermelon does this on purpose, as you all know. It's clickbaiting in its simplest and naughtiest form. Let's see what Mr. Babe has to say. Now, for the most part, I do not expect Rockstar to take a lot of the features from the 3D era games because so much has changed, but there are a handful of things that I think Rockstar should 
uh, include in the nightclubs that were featured in the 3D era ones. So in GTA San Andreas in particular, nope, fuck this. As much as I'd love to listen to new details you made up, what you think nightclub management will be like, and what you think the payouts will be, I'm going to pass. Before I wrap this video up, I'd like to point out that three weeks ago, he made a video titled, Rockstar officially confirms nightclub update coming to GTA Online. New content coming summer 2018. And these are the first words out of his mouth. I think in a way, Rockstar just officially confirmed that the nightclub update is going to be happening. It's just more clickbaiting and lying to get your view than speculation in the actual video. Ross, if you're watching, you can fix your channel, you can earn back the respect of your fans, and even pull in more views because they actually want to watch, not because you tricked them into watching. Stop falling into the same trap that most GTA YouTubers do to stay relevant. It only helps in the short term, it hurts you in the long term. Stop clickbaiting. And don't mass flag videos that criticize you. Yeah, Zach Cox, it's kind of obvious you told Mr. Boss about my video on him because shortly after it got taken down, you left a few comments on one of my videos. I'm trying to help. You aren't a bad YouTuber by default, Mr. Boss. You just use scummy tactics that make people lose respect for you. You may think I don't know what I'm talking about because I only have 5,000 subscribers, but you'd be wrong. Clickbait doesn't grow a channel. It kills it. Yeah, how long it's gonna take Watching the waiting for that first mistake Don't come up missing Don't get it twisted I'm not Rihanna, but boy, you a gunner You right on my hit list Keeping my distance Just checking the list I'm always aware if you come with position I just hold out to the perfect condition Coming alive Whoa!